Welcome back everybody. Now I already got started on this because it is the Shampao EX battle deck. It pretty much comes with everything else. Uh, same as the other one. The booklet, the mat, the hit markers. Uh, this little thing which I'll read a little bit of. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, it says keep building damage. Shen Pao has almost unlimited potential for doing damage. Its ability lets you get extra energy cards from your deck every turn, ensuring you always have some to attach. Once your Pokemon have all the energy they need, use Shen Pao's EX Hailblade attack to do incredible damage. Remember, you can discard the energy for this attack from any of your Pokemon. And goes ahead and gives you some strategy. It says, even more energy. Backscalibur is the key to really amp ramping up damage because it lets you attach as many basic energy cards as you want during your turn. Combine this with Shampao's Shen Pao's EX ability to find extra energy and all of your Pokemon will be fully powered up in no time. And draw it in from Nimona and Youngster to Dilbert with its double draw attack. Many cards in this deck let you draw extra cards. This will help you find your most important cards faster. And search and destroy. Try to get Shampao's EX and Baxcalibur set up as quickly as possible. Well, don't know duh. <laughs> Nest balls uh, can help you find your basic Pokemon, of course, and including Shampao and Jack. And great balls make it easier to locate evolutionary Pokemon like for Baxcalibur. Yes. Combine all of these strategies and find a way to freeze out your opponent. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I was looking at these and um, this is my deck, the one I use. I, I do use uh, Baxcalibur in it, but so far that's pretty much the only Pokemon that I do use. I haven't really thought about using this sort of strategy, which I'll get into right away. Uh, because um, Frigibax, uh, basic and Artibax stage one, there's nothing huge, you know, great about them. But you could, I mean, you need all of these, or you could do something different, which I'll show later, to get to him, which is who you need to make this uh, whole thing happen, really. And here, we see his ability, super cold. Hopefully y'all can read that. Yeah, that's that's what he was talking about. As, also, as often, as long as you have that energy in your hand, if you have a whole bunch of energy, energy in your hand, you'll be able to attach it to any and all uh, Pokemon, just like that. Uh, other than that, yeah, this is, let me see here. Uh, the Bruxish with the Vivid. And you only get one of these in here. It says, search your deck for up to three basic energy cards. Reveal them and put them in your hand. That's that's very useful his, for, like we were just talking about this. And this is super basic. Nothing special there. Just heal 20 damage from this Pokemon. This is Meryl, the basic version. You get three of it and a Sumerel. it's uh, stage one this one is slightly better you heal 30 damage from this Pokemon when you cause you know, when you're attacking for 50 and um, with uh, one more energy uh, you deal a hundred plus or times I should say when you flip two coins this attack does a hundred damage for each head Wait, so if you don't get any heads, you don't... Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Delibird. He is just draw two cards. That's the most useful thing on this guy. Double draw, the double draw. And I guess the way to use him most effectively, because it only has 90 HP, would be um, like to switch him in real quick. If you have a switcheroo <laughs> uh, or a rope, 
Yeah, uh, and let's see. Buizel. This is just your basic 10 and 20 damage. That's all he does. Razor Splash, Razor Fan. You get three of it. And two of it's stage one, which is uh, 20 more damage for each energy attached to this Pokemon. Okay, see? This this will work with Baxcalibur. Not bad. 50 plus 20 for each energy. And now, let's see how will we get it all done. Okay, draw three cards. Not bad. We get... Nimona, which is what he was talking about. And then the Great Ball. We get four of these as well. That is, look at the seven cards of your deck. You may reveal a Pokemon. You find there and put it into your hand. We get two of the youngsters. Shuffle your hand to your deck and draw five. Okay, not bad. You get two retrieval. Put up the two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Very useful. I do have those. I use those. Uh, you get two nest balls. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon. Put it into your bench. You get two Poke Gear. Look at the top, top seven cards of your deck and reveal a supporter card. Put it into your hand. And there are the switcheroos. Two switcheroos. And you get a Jacques and a Palpat. Okay. Huh. The similarities to the other deck, but very useful nonetheless. Set this aside and I'll just show you really quick what I do. And within the last 24 hours, I've already thought about a different way I can go out about it. And let's get the energy out of the way. Let's get the trainer. Okay, because, because you never know who you're gonna go up against and some Pokemon have those weaknesses and you don't want them to get knocked out right away. Like to Shenpao alone, Shenpao alone. I have four of them because he's a basic Pokemon. I would love to get him on the first draw and I would rather not get a Mulligan, which is why I have so many basic Pokemon like here. I'll just throw these out really quick. I'm not going to include the Frigibax because he's mostly useful for something else. Just heavy hitters. I have Palkia, Arceus, a very useful Luminion, and the Ice Rider Cry Kyrolex? Cyrolex? <laughs> I have the Ice Rider, damn you. Okay. And of course, they're evolutions, but I'm not going to include them because. We're talking about basic. Basic, we always start off with the basic. So, I have three. Because like I said, um, I'd rather not get him on the first one because I mean, you put him out, you can't, it, you'd be lucky, you hella lucky if you evolve him on the first one to, which brings me to the way to evolve him. I do not have it's, what was it called? I forget what it's called. I don't even use them. The Ar Artibax? Ar it's a, it's first stage. Yeah. I don't, I don't use its first stage at all. I jump over it with the rare candy. This uh, lets you evolve it from basic to the second stage. So I just go from that straight up to the back Excalibur. So, like I covered, this is the what I try to get to mostly because he's a basic. If he's in, in your active spot, you're already drawing two energy cards and hopefully you get your, your Frigibacks and your back Excalibur set up as fast as possible. Like that's how I was saying no duh to <laughs> the paper that it was saying that it, that definitely that's it's the shampoo deck so but it's weakness like i was saying is uh metal if i if i remember yes metal and so is this guys but then 
Um, Palkia's is electricity, so not metal. With <laughs> and Arceus is is uh, fighting. That's its weakness. So depending on who we're fighting, if we need to switch them out so they don't get knocked out very easily, uh, I think that you gotta have a um, combination of sorts like that just to start off with. You don't wanna have a uh, disadvantage going into it. And like I said, then you have their evolutions. I mean, you gotta have their evolutions. And also I chose the Ice Rider because it's evolution specifically. Uh, I personally, if I go up against the Shen Pao deck, I try to get at him as fast as possible because with two energy, you knock him out right away. It's 250 for two energy. And you also do have to discard it from... I try to stay away from the V-Maxes because if one gets knocked out, like I've mentioned before, they take three prize cards but he's hella useful against another Shen Pao. You just knock him the heck out. Just boom. And then that's pretty much with that the reason for these and what they do. Because, I mean, if you don't know about Palkia and Arceus, then you, then you just don't know. But they're, they're powerful. They're powerful. No need to get into. We're here for strategy, which leads me to these two Pokemon. Luminion. When you put them from your hand to your bench it has its ability lets you look for specifically specifically <laughs> a supporter card and if you haven't used it for that if you haven't used a supporter card for that round then boom i mean you get exactly what you need and you get things done you get things cracking and if need be 120 isn't bad but it says shuffle this Pokemon and all attached cards into your deck after you've used that attack. And I couldn't agree with it more. Like this card couldn't have been made any more perfectly in my eyes because for 170 HP, you don't really want it to be out there for that long. It, it could be, become a target. And which moves to the the drawer. <laughs> this guy, he's, he's the shit. If you don't know about Radiant Greninja, let me tell you. You throw one energy from uh, your hand into your discard pile. And you can draw two more cards from your deck. So every if you have this on your bench, every turn you're potentially getting three cards. If you don't play another supporter card, that get, lets you draw even more. So... Which leads me to the next step in this. Of course, the switcheroos. Let's get through this. Let's not make this video too long. We talked about the rare candy. You all know about boss's orders. If not, this uh, switches one of your uh, opponent's bench Pokemon and puts them at the active spot. And you choose. You choose what. Um, I use uh, the... <laughs> Kalamatious? Kalamatious? <laughs> the snowy mountains. It's just the, it's, it's the snowy damn mountains. The snowy mountains. I use the snowy mountains because if you're not a water Pokemon and you attach an energy, you get uh, 20, 20 damage. So two damage counters. Tw 20 damage. And Bravery Charm, because of the ba this, uh, you attach it to a basic Pokemon. I usually use this if I haven't gotten its evolution while or it's lacking um energy i don't want to um make it go to that other stage it might get knocked out if it doesn't have enough energy i haven't gotten ready to strike <clears throat> so definitely attach those to a bit uh, it adds 50 hp to a basic pokemon and superior energy retrieval because we we talked about this one gets, if you discard two cards, I usually use this late in the round uh, because you know what you're not going to need anymore. But you need to discard two cards and you can get four more uh, energy. And by, by the time I have four energy in the discard pile, this puts it back into your hand, by the way. Um, not into your deck. 
you can attach it with Baxcalibur right away. Bam, boom. And when I was talking about doing things differently from the Nemoa, no, no, Omar, is uh, this Arita. I use Arita because it's specifically water. Search your deck for a water Pokemon and an item. So if you already have your art pack, your, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where did he go? If you already have your fridge backs on your bench, and uh, it's your turn, it's ready to evolve, you can I, go ahead. What I do is go in to get the the candy, the red candy, and then I get the Bex Caliber, and then bam, you're ready to start attaching whatever amount of energy you have in your hand onto your Pokemon. So more energy retrievals because you're gonna be using them. Another energy retrieval. That's, this is another energy retrieval. <laughs> I have four of them, yeah. You gotta be ready. And Lady, she, you can get four energy from your deck. Yeah, four energy. You can just get four energy. And I have one Candice. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You reveal any water Pokemon or energy and put them in your hand. Draw three cards. This one I usually use uh, against uh, someone who has an attack that has to do with how many Pokemon are on your bench because this makes them have get rid of two and only have three and makes lets you draw three cards as well. And to finish it off in my arsenal, I have Krala. Uh, you have, you can get two basic energy and two basic Pokemon, or no, I'm sorry, just any Pokemon. Two Pokemon and two basic energy to your hand. So bam. There's been points where I use one of these and a couple of these. So I have all of a sudden two, four, six energy back in my hand. And then I draw two more with the uh, Shen Pao and attach them all with, oh wow, sorry. And then attach them all with Bax Calibur. And that's a quick rundown. <laughs> quick, yeah, right. So that was a quick, that, yeah, that was a strategy. That was bada bing, but there's a couple of things I'm gonna switch. And for those of you who stuck around to the end, oh, look at you, look at you, look, look, look at that, ooh. What, what, oh, gee. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, nice surprise, right? You know, you probably wouldn't be expecting this, but there you go. There you go. Because there was no packs opening on this. Oh, which reminds me, which reminds me what's next. What's, oh my God, what is this? What is this? Obsidian Flames. Picked up a couple of build and battle. Like said, this is level two, and we'll get into that as well on the next video. Catch you then.